Hi, I'm Robin and uh, welcome to the Algonquin Eco Lodge. And uh, the lodge is behind us. We're on the southern edge of Algonquin Park uh, in the middle of the forest. And we never had electricity in the past because we were too deep in the forest to get hooked up to the grid. So uh, we decided we're lucky enough that we're on the edge of a waterfall. We uh, put in a micro hydro generator, so we're generating our own electricity. And this video is just a little tour of how that micro hydro system works. Um, and we're going to walk down to the water and we'll see what it's all about. All right, so this is uh, Moffat Pond. This is uh, our lake. It, it's all crown land. It's 12.5 hectares, which is uh, 30 acres. Um, a hundred years ago, this was just a river and a pond, but a hundred years ago the loggers came in and they dammed it up and made it into a lake and we're making use of the dam and all the stuff that the loggers did a hundred years ago. So we're, we're making use of the history of, of this area. And what we have here is we've got a pipe that goes into the lake about 50 feet um, and you can actually see right where the edge of the ice is where the moving water comes. That's the intake and then just over to uh, the side right at where the dam is we have our intake so we have a, a cutoff valve and a bleeder valve for, for the, the pipes which you can't really see the pipes from here but you can see our cutoffs and so we have a big 500 pound screen at the end of our intake with 2.5 millimeter holes to keep all the fish out to keep all the weeds and sticks and everything one of the things that we had to do while we're getting permits is make sure that we actually didn't go into the water while we're building all this so we had to keep any machinery and all the pipes and everything out of the water and one of the ways that this is nice and eco-friendly is that all the water that we're taking out of the lake here is just bypassing the waterfall going through our turbines and then right back into the river so the water in and the water out, it's all the same. We're not actually doing anything and we're not affecting any fish migration or anything because it's a waterfall. The fish couldn't actually come up through the waterfall and through the dam and all that kind of stuff too. So anyway, we'll uh, start going downstream. giving us the power for the hydro. It's not the amount of water that's flowing, it's the vertical drop. They call it head. And we've got 18 meters of head, roughly 60 feet. So one of the things I was actually kind of concerned about when we were building this little project was how much noise it was going to produce because we're in Eco Lodge, we're in the middle of the forest, we've got the nice sound of the waterfall, the trees with the wind and the birds. I didn't want to have like a constant hum of generators which is why we don't use gasoline generators at the lodge because all you can hear is the exhaust running from the, the, the gas powered generator. So if you have a listen now, we're only what, five, six meters away from the powerhouse where everything's happening. And if you listen, you can't hear the generators at all. Have a quick listen. Now we'll go down and I'll show you how much water we uh, use. And then we'll go in and you can hear how much noise they're producing. They do produce noise, but from inside the building uh, to out here when the door's closed, you don't hear anything. But it, for the size of the pipe, we use surprisingly small amount of water. And here, the back of the building isn't finished, so it's not so pretty, so I apologize for that, but you can still see how much water we're using. There's two pipes. Uh, the one pipe is for our 8 kilowatt turbines. The second one is our 4 kilowatt turbine. That one's not actually on right now, which is why there's hardly any water coming through there. Um, but with the 8 kilowatts, that's all the water that is being used. And I'm thinking this is going to be a fun spot in the summertime for coming down and having a shower and hanging out and um, a little water massage. So we're down here at the powerhouse, and this is where the water comes in, goes through the turbines, and then gets converted to electricity, which gets sent back up. But talk about that, I'll let Phil from SOS Contracting, he's our uh, alternative energy expert here in Maynou, and he can talk about how the whole uh, electrical components work. Well, since Robin has got you up to this uh, point, 
Welcome to my world. Come on in. in what kind of savings or what kind of cost would a power lines run you to come in and get on the grid in the first place? Well, I think it'd be about 100000 to get connected to the grid. Um, so that's, you know, obviously too much money. And what we're saving in power and stuff, we save a couple thousand dollars in firewood that we use for heat. We'll save a couple thousand dollars in propane, which is what we were using for the fridge and the lights and the hot water and all that stuff. So I'll probably save maybe four thousand dollars a year, which isn't a lot, but what we're hoping we'll get our investment back is because we've been able to make the lodge a lot nicer by putting in nice bathrooms and showers and reading lamps and stuff that we'll get more tourists coming and more repeat business. So our hope is that we make our money back from increased revenue.